While the Agni-5, a nuclear-capable intercontinental range ballistic missile ICBM, has undergone nine successful tests since 2012, there has been limited progress on the highly anticipated Agni-6 missile project. Following Agni-5 first trial on April 19, 2012, Former DRDO Chairman Dr. Vijay Kumar Saraswat affirmed India's intention to continue expanding the Agni missile program, hinting at more additions to the Agni series. The Agni 5 boasts an effective range of nearly 5,500 km with a 1.5-ton nuclear warhead. A fundamental principle of physics dictates an inverse relationship between a missile's range and the weight of its warhead. Utilizing the same rocket boosters as Agni-5 but with a lighter 500 kg warhead could potentially extend the missile's range to 10,000 km. This intriguing possibility addresses a critical gap in India's nuclear deterrence strategy, which Agni-6 aims to fill. Agni-6 is projected to have a range of 9,000 to 12,000 km with a 3-ton nuclear payload, or 14,000 to 16,000 km with a lighter 1.5-ton package. Its guidance system is expected to feature an inertial navigation system with ring laser gyroscope, optionally supplemented by IRNSS Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System, along with terminal guidance possibly using radar scene correlation, enhancing accuracy. The compelling case for Agni-6. In 2011, former IAF Chief of Air Staff Pradeep Basant Naik passionately argued for India to expand its nuclear striking capabilities beyond its immediate vicinity. The extended range of Agni-6 holds the promise of bringing several major world capitals within India's striking range. A range exceeding 12,000 km enhances India's strategic flexibility, crucial for a robust deterrence strategy. It also positions India to potentially counter Chinese ballistic missile submarines SSBN's aircraft carriers, and warships attempting to hide in distant regions like the Southern Indian Ocean and Central Pacific Ocean. This, however, assumes the development of more precise ICBM guidance systems, akin to China's DF-21D anti-ship ballistic missile. Ideally, Agni-6 should possess a minimum range of 9,000 km, surpassing China's JL-2 submarine-launched ballistic missile, thereby solidifying India's ICBM program. Agni-6 is a game-changer. Agni-6 is envisioned as a solid-fueled multi-stage ICBM capable of carrying up to 10 nuclear or thermonuclear warheads in MIRV, multiple independent re-entry vehicle, and MARV, maneuverable multiple independent re-entry vehicle configurations. Additionally, the rocket may have the capability to deploy light decoys and radar countermeasures chaffs to outsmart even formidable anti-ballistic missile systems and confuse hostile air defenses. With a gross weight of up to 70 tons, Agni-6 comprises composite materials, enabling the launch of military satellites into low-Earth orbit LEO during contingencies, thus validating its FOB's fractional orbital bombardment system capability. Notable strategic experts have argued that India must aspire to develop a global striking capability with a credible ICBM force in the near future. Conclusion The path forward. It is imperative for India to approve the Agni-6 program swiftly and embark on testing the first prototype in the coming years. This would position India alongside military superpowers like the USA, Russia, and China, enhancing its diplomatic leverage on the global stage. Executing a full-range test of Agni-6, extending beyond 9,000 km, may raise international attention. To navigate this diplomatically, India could officially declare a range of up to 9,000 km while testing the missile with a 3-ton super-heavy warhead. This approach would validate the missile's capabilities without triggering diplomatic disputes, akin to the ASAT test conducted in March 2019. In line with this progress, Prime Minister Narendra Modi might consider declaring a permanent voluntary moratorium on further extending missile ranges beyond 9,000 km. This strategic move can be reminiscent of former Prime Minister Adil Bihari Vajpayee's declaration of a permanent voluntary moratorium on nuclear tests after the Pokhran 2 series in May 1998, further solidifying India's global stature. In summary, the Indian government must prioritize and expedite the Agni-6. Without a credible ICBM force, India's strategic influence may remain limited, and it could be perceived as a regional power rather than a global one. 
The future of India's national security and diplomacy rests on these vital initiatives. Please make sure to like and subscribe and share the video.